Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and in honor of Zack Snyder's Justice League, I thought let's go ahead and rank his live action films from best to worst. Because the reality is, I'm not a Zack Snyder hater. There are a few of his films that I really did enjoy, and I thought this would be an interesting exercise to do live with you. Now, there's two decisions I made myself. The first of which, I'm not including the Guardians of Gaul. Uh, I, just, I never got the chance to see it, and I don't want. I didn't want to go watch it to be honest. And plus, it's a kids' movie, animated. It's different. So I'm just going to focus on his live action films i also removed the original justice league because it feels like he doesn't really want his name on that one even though there could be an argument as to it's a lot of his film it's not he didn't edit it it's not his final release so i'm going to respect his wishes and only put in Zack snyder's justice league as the seventh film in his filmography live action filmography all right so i have them here in chronological order so you guys can play along and why in fact please do in the comments down below i want you to put your order as well now, usually as these lists work out for me, it's always easy to pick the top and the bottom. Like the worst and the best are sort of easy. It's always that middle that becomes the challenge. And I'm already staring at the worst one. It's without a doubt so easy for me. It's, it's no question. The worst movie Zack Snyder has made is, yep, Sucker Punch. Putting that right at the bottom because, look, I even tried to watch it again. Didn't like it the first time. I gave it a, a second shot in, in honor of this list. And my God, I could not finish it. And that's the sign of a bad movie to me. I'm sorry. I don't care how visually stunning it is. I just hate it. I don't like it. <laughs> it just it frustrates me. I don't see any value to it. I don't understand it at all. It's like just a torture story with these girls and skimpy, empowering. I, I don't know. I don't get it. I never liked it. Still don't like it. Couldn't get back into it. Every other film on this list, I've watched again and I've gotten through it. Sucker Punch, I can't get through it a second time. Just not my type of movie. So Sucker Punch, easily the worst. Uh, so then going through the rest of these, what's the next worst film on this list? For me, it's got to be... BVS. Putting BVS next. Or is it Watchmen? Ooh. BVS and Watchmen, actually. The more I look, so I know these are the top four. Okay. These are definitely the top four. The order of these will be something I gotta go through with you guys. But right now I gotta debate what's worse, Watchmen or BVS. Now, if a lot of you watching, you're gonna be like, Andy, what the heck? It's so easy. It's it's this one. But again, my list, my right. You guys make your own list in the comments down below. But I'm looking at this, man, this is hard for me because I'll be honest and talking this out loud, both movies have good sequences. The opening of Watchmen, fantastic. One of the best openings I think I've seen in a while. Visually stunning and just really good uh, adaptation. Like something Zach brought to the table in that adaptation that was pretty literal. Uh, the BVS, I also love the beginning where, I've said this a million times, where uh, we see uh, Superman crashing through Wayne Enterprise and all the rest of the buildings and, and, and Bruce looking up like, oh, I gotta stop this guy. Uh, the conflict immediately, right out the gate, was a brilliant way to connect it to Man of Steel and introduce Batman in that movie. And there are a few other moments in that film, the introduction of Wonder Woman. <sighs> I, th I think because of the lack of the squid and the fact that he doesn't take as many choices except for that open... I think I'm going to put BVS above Watchmen. Wow, the more I think about it. Hmm. Look, I don't hate Watchmen. I've hated BVS just because it's such a big movie that I feel like let down the audience, a lot of the audience. Some of the audience loved it, but it's just, even the ultimate cut's not enough. You really did need a four-hour version with that one. But man, I think I got to go. Ultimately, I, I am going to say I like the Ben Affleck Batman sequences a lot more than Rorschach. Oh, Rorschach's pretty good. Jackie O'Hilly was good. Right, I'm going to sit with that for now. I might change it before we're done, so I'm not locking it in. Only one that's locked so far for sure is Sucker Punch. Now, in this rest of the order, I think I got to judge next spot to be either Man of Steel or Justice League. Which one's better? Now, honestly, I think I like them about the same. I don't like Man of Steel that much, but I've come to respect it because I like Henry Cavill. I love the parts of Dan, uh, Diane Lane. And uh, I don't love the ending with the CGI, him versus Zod. It just doesn't work for me. Versus Snyder Cut. Ooh. I think I'm going to leave them the way they are. I think I'm going to give Man of Steel just because I do think the Snyder Cut is a little overly long. I do. I think even the Snyder Cut could have been trimmed down. It's a little excessive at times. I love the parts with the Flash. Uh, but overall, more style over substance for me in Justice League, where I feel like I could see more substance in Man of Steel. I got to I got to stick with Man of Steel over Snyder Cut. 
And then it comes down to which of these two do I like the best? <sighs> Dawn of the Dead, I rewatched for this list recently. I've seen 300 a bunch of times. I really like Dawn of the Dead. It's a really fun zombie movie. And I, I might even do a video over a movie world. So go subscribe over to Movie World if you haven't yet. I'll, I'll, and if I do it, I'll put it at the end of this video. Because I, when I watched it, I just realized how fun and scary and intense that movie is. And it's Zach's first feature out the gate. Really set the tone and just written by James Gunn, directed by Zack Snyder. It's a really fun movie. Now, is it as good as Romero's original? Romero's original is not as scary. It's more a commentary on sort of the zombie culture. and the, There's more more stuff behind it. But from an updated version, I think Dawn of the Dead did a really fantastic job. Good performances from Sarah Pelley, Ving Rhames, Ty Burrell, who would have thought went on to Modern Family. Dawn of the Dead to me is really, I feel like, well, two years earlier, right, there was 28 Days Later, which sort of set the tone for the modern zombie rebirth. Uh, but I would still argue Dawn of the Dead is the one that really sort of set the tone for The Walking Dead, which came out uh, six years later, I think 2010, if I'm recalling that correctly. So Dawn of the Dead, it gets a lot of respect in my book because it's a remake but it still does a really good job, updates it for modern times. It's scary. 300, man, it's just iconic. I know there's some people out there who don't like the stylized version, but the stylized slow-mo effects of 300 are a blessing and a curse because it worked for me in that movie. I thought it was a graphic novel come to life. He was able to put some of his own style, but also really borrow a lot from the page. But it really works in that movie with Leonidas. Gerard Butler gives a great performance. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, a comic book come to life in a way that really I think is where he shined the best in adapting the comic book. He tried to sort of do it again for Watchmen and it just didn't work the same for me. Watchmen also just a much better comic. So he was really up against the wall trying to make that work. Uh, it's just so iconic that that book that is, is he, it was hard for him to ever try and match it. And I and honestly, I think the HBO series did an interesting, more interesting job of updating the source material and giving us a new style. It's better as a binge than week to week, but uh, yeah. So 300, though, is the iconic Zack Snyder. But the as I said, a blessing and a curse. It works in 300, but that's where he learned all the slow-mo effects and did everything moving forward. I, all, every other movie after this list all is just copying the style that he learned in 300. I mean, in Dawn of the Dead, the worst it gets is sort of those bullets. <laughs> sees the slow-mo bullet shots, which he's still doing in Justice League, ironically enough. There are shots of the bullet cartridges falling in slow-mo down uh, that are like literally felt like a shot at a Justice League. That's definitely his thing. Uh, and so uh, it worked in Dawn of the Dead. 300 versus Dawn of the Dead, as I'm going to put this together, I think from an iconic standpoint, 300 still is his best movie. Dawn of the Dead is a wonderful horror film. I think that's my tentative list right now. So looking at this, uh, this movie's the, terrible. This movie's terrible. These movies to me are disappointments. Uh, disappointments. And uh, do which, which ones there are? I, should, I haven't. I've seen Watchmen like three times, but not recently. I've seen Don, Donna Super Justice more. So I think as of now, I'm, I am going to give it slightly more of an edge over Watchmen that I just think it doesn't live with me as much. But there are scenes in BVS that do surprisingly. It's still disappointment. They're both disappointments. Zack Snyder's Justice League is, it's okay. It's okay. It's just unnecessary. But it still disappoints me in that could have been better as a Justice League movie. But it's definitely better slightly. I don't know, man. I got to sit with this one longer. The more I think about it, the less I'm starting to like it. But yes, I like it better than Dawn of Justice. And then Man of Steel. Yeah, I like that better than Justice League. Dawn of the Dead. I like that a lot. 300. I like that a lot. So I think I'm going to lock it in. There it is. That's my list, my order, ranking Zack Snyder's films. Uh, I'm curious, what do you think? How would you do it? How would you have done it differently? Tell me down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, please. Smash the bell for all alerts. That way YouTube actually tells you when a video is out. Smash the like, like I said. And then down there, leave on the comments uh, your order of things. Which one would you put? Again, those are the seven films we're going through. I'm curious your take on this one. Which ones do you love? Which ones do you hate? Let's have a conversation down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and AFD Signor, and you can check out these videos as well. Thank you so much for tuning in here to Popcorn Planet. Come back, will you? Booyah.